Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, the testing mom. When my daughter was in nursery school, her teacher told me that they were going to spend the month of November investigating patterns. I remember thinking, patterns? For a whole month? Why? What I didn't understand then was how fundamental patterns are to helping a child understand his world. Patterns or sequences are logical and predictable ways in which things occur. For example, numbers occur in patterns from small to large. The seasons and days of the week come in a regular pattern. A child's daily schedule usually follows a pattern. There are visual patterns in a snake's skin or a butterfly's wings or in a leaf or a flower. Music and poetry follow patterns. A fun way to teach your child about patterns is to string necklaces together. Making a necklace with your child where the beads are arranged in a recurring sequence teaches your child about patterns. It builds fine motor skills and also prepares your tot for kindergarten testing. That's right, being able to recognize and extend patterns is both a mathematical skill and a thinking ability that is commonly assessed on intelligence tests. Here are some examples of patterning questions that a child might see on an intelligence test that she takes for school admissions. The first is a very simple A-B-A-B pattern that your child must extend. Butterfly net, butterfly net, and the butterfly goes in the empty box. The next question uses a figural pattern. This one is harder for younger children to extend because they really have to focus on the differences between each of the figures to see what the pattern is. Here, the first two figures are the same and the third is different. It's an A-A-B pattern. The second figure over the bubble is the answer that goes in the empty box. Finally, here is a serial reasoning pattern. It's another kind of patterning question that children often see on tests. The child must notice that each row and each column has its own pattern going on. Here, each row has a circle, square, or triangle that is either orange, pink, or red. Going down the columns, the different shapes are the same color. The red circle completes the pattern. Building your child's patterning abilities begins with doing something as simple as stringing beads and making a pattern. At home, make simple patterns out of coins, fruit loops, or buttons and have your child extend the pattern. Do this often and answering patterning questions on any test will be easy. I'm Karen Quinn, the testing mom, preparing your child for all of life's tests.